This is one of my favorite stories. It goes like this. So once upon a time, long, long time ago, back in the time of Adam and Eve and all the animals could talk to each other, they were talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking and talking. There was not much listening happening. Not at all. And the more talking, the louder it got. The louder it got, the louder it got. God was up there doing his thing, trying to create cool things, but it was so loud, couldn't hear himself think. He started making weird things like war. It was weird, it was weird, this is so loud. And God was like, ah, uh, threw a blanket on top of the earth. It was dark for the very first time. Well, all the beings on the earth got a little freaked out. I mean, they'd never been in the darkness before. So they gathered in, they gathered in, they gathered in. Turns out it's a lot more fun to be close when it was really dark and scary out there and you don't know what's out there. And they started to cry and whimper and they'd never seen that much darkness or any darkness before. And all of a sudden God was like, hey guys, don't worry, I totally got this. I'm just going to go up there and pull it down. So God goes up there. Oh, excuse me, that was Adam. Adam goes up there, tries to pull down the blanket. Nothing, doesn't do anything. Eve is like, you know what? I got an idea. Goes up there, tries to twist it up. Nope. Elephant's like, I got this really powerful, strong trunk. I got this. Elephant goes up. Nope. Alligator, I got these really strong teeth. I got this. Nope. Giraffe, I got this tall head. I can just punch my way through. Everyone's like, yeah, go for it. Nope. And on and on and on like this, a great parade of big, strong, tough animals came through to try to punch their way through. Nothing worked. But they kept trying. What else did they have to do? Then one day, hummingbird comes around. Says, you guys, I've got an idea. I think I can do this. Great, hummingbird, go for it, they said. I mean, it's not like anyone actually believed that hummingbird could do anything, but they were, they were in the improv of life. They were like, yes, and, why not? So, hummingbird goes up, doesn't try to punch through anything, doesn't even try to remove the blanket that caused all the darkness, just started poking these little holes through the darkness, letting the light, shine in. Everyone started cheering like wild and they could see that Hummingbird who was a beautiful artist. She was making the most incredible designs and they say that's how the constellations came to be. God looks down. It's pretty impressed actually. She'd finally gotten a really good night's rest with all that silence. She could think clearly again. She was like, you know, very impressive. I loved how you gave everyone a chance, no matter what. And since you guys really figured out how to work together and listen, I'm going to pull off this blanket. But I'm, at the end of each day, I'm going to put it back on so you can remember the story and how the constellations came to be. I love this story. This is an origin story. It's, it's a, also known as a creation story. And these are the original stories that, they're, it's like the, the original operating manual for how to live on Earth. And you probably know these stories. They are some of the oldest stories on the planet. They come from indigenous cultures around the Earth. And they are the blueprint. They guide us on how to be good people on the planet. And, you know, even beyond good people, just how to keep living, how to keep living in a good way. And what I love about stories is that they'll keep talking. They'll keep talking and guiding you through the times that you're living in, no matter when they were born. And when I hear this story, it means so many different things to me. I heard so many different things in the telling of it that I'd never heard before. So I want to hear what you heard in the story. But one of the things that's really coming up is as we come towards the elections, 
wow, you know, this outward focus on who can exhibit, you know, strength and, and power and purpose. And, and in this story, it's saying, maybe that's not going to be the person that's going to bring the solutions. Maybe the solutions are coming and hiding in the person with the smallest, most quiet voice. Maybe it's not about the person who's got the most weapons or the most power, but about the person who's creative and innovative and can think outside the box. Or someone who can just poke some holes in the darkness and let some light in. I think we do that with our stories. And we're about to go on a deep dive. And this next creative intensive, we're actually going to be uh, ending with a story that really gets to exhibit the story of our soul. We'll be telling our essence story, our mythic story. But to get there, we're going to go on a journey, a journey through the oldest stories on earth, because this is where you get to feel the rhythm, the pattern of the stories. When that gets reawoken in your body, it's so easy to find your own story. So we're going to go on this journey of learning some of the oldest origin stories on the planet, really listening for what is the guidance, what is the insight that they offer to us in these times? What wisdom is just sitting there waiting to be received when we can still ourselves and listen and receive that which was given to us oh so long ago to use right now? So we're going to begin on July 11th. It's going to be a great creative intensive we're going to dive into the depths. You can come along for the whole journey. The whole thing will be recorded. And I look forward to seeing you there and hearing what wild origin story you find to share with us. But also, what is that story of your soul? How do you show up in the mythic dimension through symbol, through metaphor, through archetype? And then how does that fuel you? How does that give you power? How does that give you guidance? on your best way to live through these times. Talk to you soon. I can't wait to hear your stories. <laughs>